City asks, what is the easiest way of removing or minimizing chlorophyll from an extract? Okay, great question. For those who don't know, chlorophyll is essentially the solar panel of the plant. It's what facilitates photosynthesis, which is converting light energy into carbohydrates or plant energy. So <clears throat> chlorophyll is good for you. It's, you know, it's the reason it's important to eat your leafy greens. It's the reason wheatgrass juice is good. It's, you know, there's nothing wrong with chlorophyll, but if you're making a cannabis extract, you're trying to remove all the non-medicinal properties. Really, you're, you're focusing on cannabinoids. Mm -hmm. And so typically the chlorophyll is something you want, to, you want to avoid in the concentrate. Now, the easiest thing to do is not get it in there in the first place. And if, if, for instance, if you're doing an ethanol extraction, the longer you leave the plant material in the ethanol, the more chlorophyll is going to be removed. The, the cannabinoids, the oils come out quite easily. And, you know, inside of an hour or two, you can get virtually all of it out of there. But if you, leave the, if you leave the plant material in there for say a month or two, it's gonna turn a deep green and that's, it's called junking out a solvent, but it's basically filling the solvent up with plant material that you didn't want. So, you know, uh, the, they call it a rough cut to just do a, you know, a, a fairly quick dip. I know people that just simply dunk the plant in, in ethanol, stir it around for a second and pull it out. And that gets most of the cannabinoids out. There's, ethanol has a very quick permeation rate. So you don't need to leave it in there for too long. Now. Once you've already junked out the solvent, once you've already put more chlorophyll in there than you want, there are some tricks for removing it. Um, one of them is called washing a solvent or scrubbing the solvent. And so if you say, if you've first done this in ethanol and then you boil off the ethanol, so you have this like really deep green um, oil that's got too much chlorophyll in it, you can use one of the solvents that, do that doesn't mix well with water. And hexane is a good example of this. So if, if you then, dissolve the oil in hexane and then mix that hexane with water, say 50% saturated hexane, 50% water, and shake that up. The chlorophyll wants to mix into the water, whereas the cannabinoids stay in the hexane. And then you can use a separatory funnel and just, you know, drain off all the water with some of the chlorophyll in it. And, you know, you might repeat that several times until you've reached a desired level of clarity, but that's, that's a neat trick for getting rid of it. There's, there's a bunch of other tricks though too. If you go online, you'll find a ton of them. There's, there, there's certain clays like bentonite clay that chlorophyll is attracted to. Um, if you look at um, activated bentonite clay under a microscope, it's got these little grooves in it mm -hmm. that are a perfect fit for chlorophyll molecules. And if you just suspend some bentonite clay into your oil, the, stir it around, the chlorophyll sticks to that, and then you can strain it out, and that's, you know, that's another neat yeah. trick for removing it. And there's other ones too, there's a lot of them. But um, yeah, I, in most cases, you don't need to remove the chlorophyll, it's not gonna do any harm. There's certain applications like dabbing, where people try to get rid of everything that can combust. And for those applications, you really wanna get as little chlorophyll in there as possible. Thank you. Thank you.